Uh, like I said in the previous uh, interviews and stuff like that, I said uh, the chemistry with uh, each each and every one of us, I think it's getting tighter. Um, we trusting in each other more. We know, you know, shots are going to fall. We're going to miss shots. But I think we're more and more confident in e each other when the shots are going up. Uh, I know when J. Mike, Zeke, you know, the whole second unit, when they shoot shots, I always think it's going in now. So it's like, you know, the confidence level with the second unit, I think we, you know, we used to playing with each other now. Oh uh, man, I, I think something just like clicked like instantly, like a couple games back, like man, Jay might just been on the same page. Like it's just I don't know what it is, but we just on the same page now. It's just like it I feel as though when when, when uh the center and, and, and the point guard's on the same page, that brings everybody else in, engaged as well. So, you know, I'm glad me and Jay Mike on the same page now and knowing how each other play. So uh everybody else get involved as well too now. How does it feel to have a guy like Jay Mike? Uh Duel or Jay Mike. Oh, J. Mike. So, okay. yeah, it's it's like like I, I like we got the same background. Uh, and when you got the same background with another person, I think you know that connection is uh you know it it, it clicks instantly because they know you know your tendencies, they know how you are, you know. And and now I feel as though like he he really like taking on that you know big brother role to me and just showing me the ropes, you know, inside the game, telling me you know what he saw stuff like that. So you know that's big for me because I'm a kid who always wants to learn and grow even in the games, you know, uh, after the games, before the games, stuff like that. So when I have somebody in my air like that who just wants to see me be great, you know, that, that means the most to me. You guys, you run that defense yep. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I think once the point guard pace is, uh, you know, electrifying and fast, stuff like that, you know, you always, the, the, this whole, the rest of the people going to get, you know, caught on the same thing. So, you know, I just want to keep doing that. Uh, you know, the coach is always on me about, you know, just bring that pace, you know, that you always bring, you know, because we need it and stuff like that. So when I'm out there, that's what I want to provide. You know, obviously, you know, the first unit plays a little bit more slower than us. So, you know, I just want to play, you know, much faster when the second unit come in and get up and down, you know, because teams be tired. You know, I know I can come in with that, that energy, them young legs. <laughs> Oh man, a few weeks ago, you know, I, I if you rewind back to the uh, Milwaukee game, I had a uh, tape on my my uh, my hand, I mean on my wrist. It was plays actually that was on the that on the wrist on on, the, on my wrist. You know, I would look at my wrist because you know I wasn't used to you know calling play calls. That was Faku. So you know when I you know, when I look at my play uh, play calls on my wrist, you know now it helps me even better. You know because Faku was taking on that role, he was doing a great job with that. You know and now you know I, he he's helped me even more. You know even on the bench, you know. Uh, shoot arounds, you know, even though, you know, he, he, he just helped me in so many ways right now that, you know, I really appreciate for him. Do you, like, print it, print it up and type, type it out? On no, I wrote it myself with a Sharpie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, on the on a piece of tape. On a piece of tape. Yeah, a piece of tape, it was wrapped around my wrist, and I just wrote on there, like, seven, eight plays, you know, what I wanted to run, you know, who was out there with me, stuff like that. So, and it was helping me. Uh, I was thinking fast, you know, what I wanted to run, but now, like, it's clicking instantly for me now, and I'm getting more comfortable running a uh, point guard with plays, you know. Did Coach know? Um, all the other assistant coaches know. <laughs> I don't think Coach knew, though, but all the other assistant coaches knew. <laughs> they saw me kept looking at my wrist. Oh man, as soon as I came in, they all <laughs> clapping and stuff like that. You know, but once you got him, you know that was a tough move, stuff like that. What was you pointing at him? Like, <laughs> but man, you know that the guys, the chemistry with the guys is everything. You know, they they just want to see everybody do good, and that's you know something you want in locker rooms. You know, everybody been on the same page, and uh, when one person performs, you know we all you know celebrate with them. You know, so it's always you know uh, good to come in the locker room and see your teammates celebrate with you. Yeah, what are you pointing at? I pointed at in the crowd. You, uh, I believe he had a white jersey on. I think it was one of my jerseys, and he had number three on. And uh, the whole the whole game, you know, the first half, uh, I was like second half. I'm gonna hit a three, and I'm gonna point to them. You know, just make their day. You know, it was like four uh, four kids, you know, up there, and I just wanted to make their day, get them involved in, with uh, with the game as well. And uh, that that pass from J Mike was a good pass. And as soon as I hit it, I'm like, yo, that was the one. Pointed to them, you know, to make their day. Mm -hmm. But why, why do you personally feel like that about that? 
Um, you know, I do a lot of things, you know, being vocal just for motivational purposes, just from, you know, kids who get overlooked or uh, I've been overlooked my whole life. You know, I've been an underdog and I never had anything given to me. That's the way that I like it, you know, because when the wars come, like a guy like Jokic, you know, when he got MVP, you know, it's, it's something that, you know, you work for and nobody can take away from, you know, it just wasn't handed to you. And uh, just following them footsteps, you know, that I've been doing like my whole life, you know, so. Uh, you know, making them, you know, not making a Rising Stars game, da da. You know, it it, it happens. You know, it's uh, players on our team who haven't made a uh, Rising Stars game, but they had so much success, you know, in this league. So you know, just following that footsteps and uh, you know, not letting that take me off my path and my pivot. You know, just want to keep going, keep striving, and showing the world what I had to offer. Um, no, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't really check my, uh, my Twitter account. I mean, I, I just post and then I just get off of Twitter and let, it's going to do what it do. Um, you know, <laughs> you know, it's going to get retweets, et cetera, et cetera. But, uh, you know, guys like Isaiah Thomas, you know, I talk to him, uh, you know, on, the, on almost a daily basis now we've been in touch. Uh, Sue Bird, I talked to her. Um, you know, those are, uh, people who, you know, have so much success, you know, in leagues. And uh, WNBA and NBA, you know, just want to, uh, you know, because they underdogs as well. So just to talk to them and let them know how I feel and then them giving me their feedback on, you know, they just love my game so much, you know, Bones, you a killer, da, 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 you know. So just talking to them, it means so much to me because sometimes you need that from somebody who has so much success in the league. Are you a little curious what the social media reaction is going to be? Does it count much? Um, <laughs> honestly, I don't know. I really don't care. Uh, <laughs> It's probably going to be a funny reaction, but, you know, it's going to do what it do, like I said. Um, uh, as far as Clark Jokic is a new guy, uh, uh, what role does he play in the locker room, behind the scenes, when you don't play? Man, uh, I feel as though he like the core of the team, honestly. He bring that toughness, that edge, that, you know, that, that, that rebound and going in there, you know, contesting the shot, then going to get the rebound on two big men, you know. That that's like really winning plays. That makes you like want to play even hard for your teammate. And that's something, you know, where he preaches in the locker room, he preaches toughness, you know, preaches, you know, just going out there and giving it your all every possession. And uh, you know, as a second unit, he's the core for us. And uh when he's locked in, you know, I feel as though we all locked in. And you know, like I said, he's the core for us and we just wanna keep it going. Hi, BC. Hi Bones, how are you? Uh, congrats for the victory and for the points. Uh, I saw your tweet about you want to be in the All-Star game. Next week is the All-Star. So do you think you're going to be there in the proximal, in the next years, in the next year? Uh, and I mean, you know, my work is always going to show for itself. Uh, you know, I just want to take each and every day and get 1% better each and every day, and that stuff will follow after me. You know, that's not something I keep my mind on, you know, each and every day, but that's something, you know, I, know, I want to strive towards. You know, I'm not a selfish kid where I'm just thinking about acc accolades. You know, I want to get championships, you know, MVP awards and stuff like that, you know. But, you know, I, the type of person I am, I want to see everybody win. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, my work going to speak for itself, and uh, it's just going to go from there. Hi, Bones. Congrats for the win and your big performance from Cordoba, Argentina. You spoke uh, about uh, the support of coming from Facu in this new role for you as, as a point guard. Uh, how amazing is for you to have the support of, from Facu and from, from Jamal, Monte? Uh, you know, learning from them guys, they have so much experience. Uh, just learning from them each and every day and, uh, you know, just picking up their brain, you know, what, what I can uh, pick their brain for, uh, you know, seeing, seeing certain stuff that they... Them, them seeing certain stuff that I don't see, you know, because they can they can view the game uh, from, <clears throat> from a different uh, standpoint. So, you know, just after timeouts, you know, I asked them, you know, what they seen and stuff like that. What's a good play call? You know, just them being in my ear. And uh, that's they, they're great teammates for sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah.